It's common that your dashboard will form part of a bigger presentation. And as a result, you may want to embed it in PowerPoint. Now, personally, I don't recommend this, but let's look at the options available and you'll see what I mean. The easiest way is to simply select the cells containing your dashboard, Control C to copy, go into PowerPoint, up on the paste dialog, we want to paste as picture. Now this is a static image. It's no longer linked to the Excel file. You can't interact with the slices or form controls and any changes made in Excel will not flow through to PowerPoint. Another option is to paste it in as a linked picture. So here we go, paste, paste special. We want to paste link and we want Microsoft Excel worksheet object. Click OK. Now with this method, you still can't interact with the slices or form controls, but you can get updates by right clicking the image and then update link. The Excel file containing the dashboard needs to be closed for the image to update. Now the last option is to embed the workbook inside of PowerPoint. And for this we go paste and then it's this icon here, embed. Now with this option, the Excel workbook is actually embedded inside of PowerPoint. Let me make it a little bit bigger. So if I double click anywhere on this image, it's going to open Excel inside of PowerPoint. So you can see at the top, we've got the Excel ribbon. We are still in PowerPoint. And here I've got the worksheet. And I can select different sheets in the file. I can interact with the slices. I can make changes here. Now to revert back to the image again, simply click outside of the Excel area and it goes back. But notice it's chopped off the right hand side of my dashboard. Now there's no way to resize it. You'd need to copy and paste it in again. Therefore, when you embed it, you need to make sure that the dashboard area fits inside the visible area PowerPoint is going to make available to you. Now, while this last method results in you being able to interact with your dashboard and make changes to the slices, you can't do it when it's in presentation mode. And that's probably where you want to be able to interact with the slices. So as you can see, embedding dashboards in PowerPoint comes with some significant limitations. I'd be inclined to switch to Excel when demonstrating the dashboards during your presentation. With that said, I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful. Thanks for watching.